All right, folks, so it's time to start on this uh, machine. Uh, in fairness, I started pretty much the same day as, uh, as the last video, but uh, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm uh, just cleaning uh, everything. I know it doesn't quite show yet. Uh, I've put a light here on the marquee and I, I like it. Uh, it's a very simple uh, rig. It's just a, a bulb um, and it's, uh, it's actually giving a nice uniform. I, I made it so that the the center is here, but it's a uh, it works. I think it works. I th I think it works <laughs> uh, Except for this. I'm not sure what to do here with this. I might cover this instead with a An opaque. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's kind of okay. But yeah, so I think I think this one works um, uh, So I just need to find or make something that says uh, That says Neo Geo instead but already, I think it just pops already. Um, so next, uh, well, I just need to clean those joysticks. I might just replace them straight away. Replace this and then pop this out for now. Sorry, replace the, these. Replace the buttons, pop this out for now. And maybe just even make a, a temporary paper overlay uh, that I can put over this just to, uh, to have an idea of what it can look like. Um, other than that, uh, I'm not going to do much more than that, but obviously put a, a new board in here. This is a yeah, 45 in one. It's not a 16 one. It's an earlier revision. And I see like this EEPROM sockets. I'll take this out uh, afterwards when I put the Neo Geo cart. But uh, there's an empty EEPROM socket. I, I wonder if it can be upgraded. Something, you know. Um, yeah, so let's get on with the cleaning. I'm going to have to pop this glass out. Um, I've tried to give the monitor sharpen. I think it's okay. The blue probably need a bit of adjusting. I think I just need to degauss it for now and then uh, deal with that afterwards. And I don't have a degaussing uh, wand. I might have to make a one from scratch. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll show you that. You can use a coil from an old monitor and a light bulb to make an old uh, custom make degaussing coil. So I might do that in this video, actually. Right, end of the day here. Um, I replaced these buttons here. I'm not happy with those two, but I, I think this layout, shouldn't the red be here? Yeah, I should invert the red. The red should be here. So I have this uh, Neo Geo layout. I use these joysticks much better. They're nice and just lovely and springy as opposed to this crap. So um, this actually was a lot more work because these are so tight. Um, Taking one of them out is such a hassle. Um, so here, I just have these uh, different types of buttons. I'm gonna order some black ones like these two and sh just uh, leave them here. Or is there different colors? I'll see. I just like, do I even need, like if it's gonna be a Neo Geo cab, do I need these two buttons? The holes are there anyway now. Uh, although if I do a different overlay, I could actually just plug these holes and uh, won't be any the wiser but then if i want to use this for anything like that has a six button layout very few games that i play really would have anyway i'll see i'll think about it here i'm gonna get some white wines um i don't like these blacks here so i'll get some uh, white um white buttons because usually the one player two player are white buttons with a and um, little black uh, little figurines uh, in there so i'll do i get a few of these i'd like to to get um those concave ones like this, or is it convex? Can't remember which is which. Yeah, this uh, joystick is much better. Um, one thing here about the mark is I need to find something to hide the light coming from there. That's not very sightly actually. Um, other than that, that marquee idea works okay, I think. Uh, and it'd be nice, nice when it says Neo Geo instead of NSNK, instead of whatever Big Century is. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a it's not gonna be a long video like it's probably gonna fit on one video I still need to figure out how to turn that thing. I'm not happy with the brackets that are there So I'm not sure what to do there. Maybe get uh, Actually a, a chassis frame uh, Just to prevent any sort of damage because it's just uh, it's just hanging with a couple of screws. There's no uh, a, a chassis frame on the uh, on the uh, monitor. Everything about this cab that I'm realizing now, uh, corners were cut, um, which I suppose <laughs> is to be expected from a 
Chinese machines of that era. So um, yeah, there's a there's corners were cut everywhere. My battery is gonna leave me here. So there's no like stuff like chassis. There was no light here. Um, oh yeah, and I put a I put a new button. I think I showed you that earlier. Uh, stuff like that. You know, it's just uh, everything was made on the cheap, and it it shows once you look into it. But it does look great. I think it looks great, and uh, I'm in love with that coin button. Metal slug. All right, so this is the idea. I've made uh, just paper templates here, um, just with a, my no, a standard printer. Uh, this is. Whoa! Shut up. All right, this is the idea here. I've made some uh, paper templates. Uh, just ran out of space, but, but I, I have essentially printed them on just a, a rectangle like that. So I just need to bring down the uh, recenter the MVS a tiny bit to here. Uh, bring the Neo Geo so it doesn't get cut off here by the uh, the curve. But what I'll do is I'll get them printed on vinyl uh, overlay type of stuff, and then I'll strip down the paint on the backside of the, uh, the existing overlay and put them put it underneath. Uh, I'll do that here. I probably won't be able to do that here because it's printed on so I might need a, a, a sticky solution here for here but uh, I'll do the overlay for here as well and then uh, and I'll see how it looks like but I do like the uh, sort of Neo Geo aesthetics here yeah that's gonna work it's gonna be better than whatever this is I just don't like this uh, kind of I don't know it just looks cheap and tacky um, Buttons, so I've used these old buttons. They're not great. Uh, I might just replace them I think mean, the more I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna replace these buttons. Also the red should really be here um, So your hand is like that um, So this should be a red uh, I'd see I might just redo the control panel altogether if because I'm gonna need to take this out and underneath is just a piece of wood so I might just oops I might just redo the entire piece of wood uh and uh and use this as a template and just have the four buttons so i don't need six here there's no neo there's gonna be a neo geo cab there's no neo geo cab that needs six buttons as far as i know and if there is i probably won't play it like this is going to be used to play mostly puzzle bubble i have metal slug in here uh, i'd like to get turf masters and uh and that's it really, I have no interest in fighting games or anything like that. So it's probably going to be the, the three games I switch um, here. So yeah, uh, it'd be great to have a, what is it, a four switcher or two way switcher at least. Um, I'll see, I'll see if I need to upgrade, but uh, for now, you know, swapping the card, that's uh, it's going to be good enough. And uh, oh, Windjammer, wind would be nice, but it's a cool game, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. At first, it's expensive enough, and uh, it's a cool game. But I mean, is that something people are gonna play? They'll definitely play uh, Puzzle Bubble, uh, most likely this, and uh, and I know Turf Master, um, Neo Turf Masters. Sorry. So we'll see. Anyway, let's finish the uh, let's finish the control panel, and then uh, order some print. So I think Fiona really likes the game because every time she's going to the shed, uh, every day, at least twice a day, um, she's taking a bit longer than usual. And I think I know why. Ah! <laughs> no, I got fast. <laughs> Aren't you getting ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right i don't like the feel actually of these uh, micro switch because you can feel the spring like vibrate I, I just yeah i really don't like that these feel a bit too cheap these are okay but i just couldn't find any of these uh, i don't know what type they are actually if anybody knows let me know and i'll change it but anyway so i have some of these sandwich buttons and uh, they are here, go away mask, 
so I'll replace those. I'll replace those. Um, was one thing I wasn't sure about was the layout because normally you'd want just four buttons, so you'd have uh, 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 sorry, uh, red, orange, uh, green, and blue in that sort of pattern. The problem here is this doesn't fit because the uh, the the, the uh, joystick box here arrives right here, right here, and right here. So there's no room for four buttons in a row. So I could either just do a, a layout like this, place the uh, the red, but it just feels weird because um, then you have to use your yeah, it's a, it's a weird set. Of, I, I don't quite like it. I think this works okay, and then um, you can use this as a, as your fourth uh, button here. Uh, it's gonna be a compromise. Don't know what to do with these. I could actually redo the entire panel or just leave it there for somebody to convert it to something else afterwards if they want to. I'm gonna keep this, but you know, obviously, uh, I'm only I'm only gonna have it for a few years until it you know. I pass and it goes to somebody else, but um, so I'm gonna keep the six button setup. Just use blacks here, and uh, and that's that. Also, it's a Neo Geo cap for now, but you never know. I might put um, I don't know, something with a, needs a kick harness or something like that um, later. All right, folks. For you, it's just another uh, segment in this video. But for me, a year, probably over, yeah, a year, almost a year has elapsed since I got that um, cab. So. Uh, I finally received artwork from uh, Ollie at uh, arcadeartshop.com. Um, so this is going to be for the marquee. There's a piece as well for the control panel. And uh, these are going to be just little, uh, um, uh, just little bits that I need to trim and actually maybe replicate the uh, little piece of plastic that they go on. Um, but if I want to change game uh, or if I just wanted a generic Neo Geo one, um, right now it has, uh, it has Puzzle Bubble. I have a Metal Slug cart and a Fatal Fury um, cart as well. I have no real interest other than these games in collecting for Neo Geo, so I'm happy with just these. I probably should have got something for um, Neo Turf Master. I, I probably would like a cart for that. Doesn't matter. I can put a Neo Geo um, uh, uh, tag in it. So I'm gonna put these on, uh, well, I'm gonna clean the plastic, put these on the uh, plastics, uh, put this back in the cab, and then we need to look after the control panel. I need to change all the buttons and just uh, put some plugs where things aren't plugged. Okay. All right, folks, that's it on this little machine. So, God, it's noisy in here now. Uh, so essentially what I've done is uh, I've uh, just used some masks, uh, some PVC tubes actually just to mask a little bit of the light. So actually the sound from the speaker is, is coming out better, it's not getting dispersed inside the cab. I've got some overlays here that I got from uh, Ollie. Uh, they're on there now. Um, you can see through, you know, the, um, the actual plastic that's behind, but I don't mind that too much. It's actually just to have something else other than the artwork that was there, because it was just dreadful. And uh, we've got Neo Geo. I did away with the uh, other buttons. I just got the tree here. I don't have any games. This is very noisy. I don't have any games that I'd be interested in, uh, Neo Geo-wise. This is pretty much only the only game that's going to be in here, really, if I'm honest. Um, I couldn't find another green button, so I'm using uh, the blue button here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where it's gone. I, I might have to order one at some point. Uh, I got the artwork on this. I actually cleaned the uh, joysticks because they were a bit stiff. Uh, these are new joysticks that I put in. But all in all, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this uh, little cab that we've turned out. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So there you go, folks. That was a, a quick restoration on... Uh, what was it called? A big Century Cab, uh, the uh, 19 inch or 20 inch ver version. And uh, that's pretty much my only candy cab type that I have. Um, although people wouldn't consider it a candy cab, it's mostly plastic and wood, uh, not as sturdy as the standard candy cabs. But still, it, it does look cool, it does look the part. And I like the size, it's quite small, like compared to standard cabs and it's stand up as well it fits here i wouldn't have the room for a sit down cab so it's perfect anyway folks that's it for uh, for this job uh, for this video uh, thank you very much again for watching 
I hope this was interesting or enjoyable and uh, I'll catch you next time.